On Monday morning, a young lawyer will testify before three Supreme Court judges who are investigating her allegations of sexual harassment by one of their colleagues who is now retired. Today, her revelation was strengthened by the admission of another woman who worked for the same judge. A week after a young lawyer blogged that the Supreme Court judge she was interning for had sexually harassed her, another woman who worked for the same judge has made a similar claim on a social networking site. She says, and I quote, I have been at the receiving end of unsolicited sexual advance more than once, and so has she. And we kept attributing all signs of learniness to our hypersensitivity to such situations, mistrusting our instincts. The second intern said, when the judge was confronted, he promised that he would never misbehave with another lady. Maybe it's naive to believe him. Maybe it's just youthful optimism. Being brave is tougher than it appears on the face. And she has oodles of courage. The Chief Justice of India constituted a panel of judges to probe these serious allegations against a former Supreme Court judge. On Monday, the first in turn will testify before the three judges who are investigating her allegations. But questioning the legal sanctity of a judicial panel, a former dean of faculty of law has demanded an independent police investigation. Maybe that some of them themselves might be the guilty people, we do not know. You are saying the primary authority or the party kind of investigating the case should be the police, should, should not be left to the judiciary Obviously. to probe upon themselves. Obviously. The lack of a victim's account puts the police in a catch-22 situation. On the other hand, many like Professor S. N. Singh are now questioning the authenticity of the judicial panel, probing their very own. All eyes will now be on the victim who so far have remained anonymous. But will they be participating in the pre preliminary inquiry? That remains to be seen. In New Delhi with camera person Shalik Ram, Sonal Mehrotra, NDTV.